What's going on guys? Back with another video today and today I want to talk about these latest pictures, these leaked pictures that Car and Driver Magazine was able to pick up and that is of the new 2020 Chevy Tahoe. Um, a lot of times these pictures are leaked while vehicles are going through their testing and their on-road driving and all that kind of stuff but as you can see this vehicle is fully camouflaged with all the panels and everything. Um, there is it makes it really difficult to see what's going on there, but overall we are able to see that the vehicle structurally really isn't that different. You know, it has a lot of the same lines, the, the roof doesn't taper, the front end doesn't taper, you know, we're not seeing a, a, a shorter front end. Um, it kind of does look like the appearance of that front, the front wheels are a little bit closer to the bumper, bumper for better departure angles you know i don't know that gm would really try to push that that much with an suv it is possible though um that being said it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on underneath but just from outside observation uh kind of looks like overall it's it's same or similar to the previous generation um you know maybe some changes in body lines maybe some changes in headlight appearance but overall, very similar. One of the biggest changes though is what we're seeing in the back, actually the rear of the vehicle, and it looks like GM is finally going the way of Ford and Dodge and going for the, the uh, independent rear suspension, or IFS, however you wanna say that, but they are ditching the straight axle and the new Tahoe, the new, you know, I don't really know what they're gonna do in the Suburban or they're, you know, they're gonna do the same thing but it looks like they have finally gone the route of removing that rear straight axle from the full-size SUVs, which some might be sad to see, uh, others might be happy. Uh, what you're gonna gain there is you're gonna gain probably a, a more comfortable, luxurious ride. Um, gotta say though, I haven't ever really thought that the straight axle was that bad of a ride, um, especially in the Tahoes. But that being said, it's kind of sad to see. Um, you know, it's the evolution of SUVs, though. It's it's where it's headed, and hopefully, they don't lose too much um, from doing it this way. But you know, it is what it is, and you know, Ford's been doing it for years now. Um, uh, Dodge has as well. So uh, GM is the last to fall in line with the independent rear suspension. That being said, I think that GM is gonna do it right and uh, not sacrifice too much there. But there it is, the 2020 Chevy Tahoe caught spy pictures, uh, courtesy of Car and Drivers. So expect to see more videos later on of this vehicle and um, as it's slow progression into the wild, um, you'll start to see more images and um, like some of the ones we're seeing here of, of the closer up close shot of the rear suspension. Um, but that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there is any other thing that you would like to see from the channel in terms of reviews or whatever it might be, please leave in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know. Please share <laughs> whatever it is that you want to see. I will be gladly to do a video on it. Uh, be sure to like the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like the video. All of that cool stuff. And uh, thanks again for watching today and have a great day. Thanks, guys.